Okay, I'm here continuing the service of this RCA Victor EY3 and i um, currently doing some cleaning of some parts and I thought I might make a short video just to show uh, what I'm doing and, and uh, the progress and uh, what's on these parts and why they need to be cleaned so thoroughly. So just bear with me as I get situated here. Uh, hopefully you can still see the video. Uh, I just started cleaning the disc player table and uh, you can see there's a lot of oil on that disc. This was a new uh, cotton ball that I just started using. So Get another cotton ball here using some uh, rubbing alcohol. It's the best thing to break down the uh, grease and oil on the inside of the platter. This is the rim here where the pinch wheel uh, grabs a hold of the platter and turns it and you can see there's oil on that platter. Um, that stops this wheel from turning efficiently. Uh, the pinch wheel that was pinch roller that was in this player is actually in really good shape. I was quite amazed that I didn't need to replace it. Um, I used some uh, rubber restore on it and got it looking good. And, uh, clean it off a little. I could use some rubber rejuvenating on the rubber side of the disc here. But it really doesn't need it. It's in good shape. And uh, I'd rather not use more chemicals than is absolutely needed. I just need to get the debris and age off of off the uh, surface. Just drop the bear and I'll pick that up. Okay, that. It's in great shape uh, for its age. Um, 102, 103 were already coming out in 1951-52. So this is uh, the last of the first year's model. Okay, and that's nice and clean. Set that there and let it dry and I'll give it a little once over later on. This is the locking bolt that holds it in place. And uh, it's not really in too bad a shape. It's a brass fitting. Uh, actually, it's copper. I take that back. It's a copper fixture. And it has a set screw that holds the tension on the wheel to the unit so that the eject mechanism is uh, nice and firm and ready to eject when the arm uh, tells it to. And there's a washer that went underneath it. These are proprietary washers, so you want to save them. If you service in a unit, you don't want to lose these. You can tell that inside diameter is not a standard size. So just be aware of that. Um, the next step, I'm going to clean the inside of the actual play area where the uh, mechanism goes and where it turns. I'm going to clean all this housing with um, some rubbing alcohol and make sure there's no grease. And then uh, when it comes time to tear this motor apart, I'll make another video to show that and uh, this disassemble and cleaning of the motor. And uh, the last thing we'll do is the cleaning of the case. But let me show you that pinch wheel. I'll be right back. As you can see, um, I think you can see it. I'll move it down in the light here. Um, the pinch roller is in very good shape. I mean very good shape. There is no dents. There are no worn spots at all. It looks like it's been a factory replace, uh, aftermarket replace, but it's not. It's the actual original one. Um, I had to buy 
a replacement for the um, eject mechanism because it was totally deteriorated and and show you the difference here this is the replacement um, eject unit and the old one was all deteriorated and so the rubber was all shot but this one has brand new rubber installed on it but you can see how they have to grind off the old rubber to put the new one on and of course this has a, a spot that's supposed to be there that's to engage the injection system to eject the record but this one you'll notice has no scraped areas where they had to scrape off this old rubber washer because this is actually the metal is actually embedded in the rubber in the manufacturing process and so this one is like in excellent shape uh, not totally surprising because the unit itself is in excellent shape but anyway that's where I'm at and I'll make another video when I uh, start after I clean the case and start working on the motor Thank you.